Buenos dias, amigos. So just in case you're wondering why I look like I was hit by the biggest storm, it's because I have. Oh my goodness, I am tired, tired. But nonetheless, I am here with you guys because you guys have been so loyal and you guys keep coming back and supporting us. So, so I appreciate that so much. I love you and I appreciate you. Genuinely, I mean it. With that said, today I'm going to give you something that helps me during my weight training. Hopefully it may do the same thing for you. If it doesn't, please find something that does work for you. For me, this is it. So, with that said, today I'm going to be making a mixed vegetable curry with some coconut rice. It is amazing, it's delicious, something that you shouldn't have every day, but once in a while won't kill you, especially if you're busy with your weight training. With that said, let's get into it, and thanks again for staying with your girl. Let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to start off by boiling our vegetables for 10 minutes in the microwave and then drain them out and leave them to dry up until we're ready to fry them. Then we're going to wash out our brown rice with some cold water first, then rinse it, rinse it, rinse it just a little bit, then add a little bit of boiling water to the mix and then just mix everything up, then leave it to soak for about 10 to 12 minutes. Then we're going to move to our pots. So we're going to add some olive oil into our pot. Then we're going to fry our onion, add some crushed ginger, some crushed garlic, some black pepper, some mixed curry powder, some paprika, some turmeric, some Himalayan salt, and then just mix all of that good stuff up. Everything that you need to know about the spices or what type of spices they are is in the description below, just in case I missed something. Anyway, let this fry. Once it fries for about maybe five minutes on a high heat, you take the heat a bit down and then you add your grated tomato. Now fry, fry, fry and mix everything well. Mix it well together and then seal it and then let it fry some more. Then we're going to add two cups of boiling water into another pot, which is the pot that you see right there on the left. And then you're going to add your coconut milk. And then we're going to add a little bit of some Himalayan salt. And then we're going to mix everything together. Then we're going to seal it. Once we've done sealing it, we go and check on our fried goods or frying goods. And then we're going to add our vegetables and then we're going to mix everything together and then we're going to move to the other pot and then add the brown rice now please don't make the mistake of adding the water that was in the brown rice into that pot no no drain your rice first and then add the dried up rice inside the bowl Anywho, once you've fried your vegetables, you're going to add coconut cream to the mix and you're going to mix, mix, mix. Now things are going to get a little bit thicker here, so do not worry. Let everything take its own course. What you just saw me do there on the left was add some brown sugar to the mix of that brown rice with the coconut milk, then let it shimmer. Then we go back to our curry pot here. Then we add a little bit of that corn flour to thicken things up just in case it is a little bit watery and runny. But not too much corn flour, otherwise it just becomes a lump or nothing. Mix that up and then add some dark soy sauce and your tomato sauce and then mix it up. Give it a nice little mix and then seal the pot when you are done. And once you're done there, we're going to go back and check on our rice. We're going to add more coconut milk and more water. Just follow the description below. And then you mix it and then you seal it and wait for it to fully cook. Wait for it to fully cook. Please, please, please just keep monitoring your rice. Mix it if you need to up until it's fully cooked. It will be creamy. Worry not. But this here looks delish anyway once you are done there you're going to do what i told you to do which is monitor and mix so that your rice doesn't stick to the bottom of the pot once it is nicely done and it has cooked all the way through it will look like this nice and creamy it almost looks like jungle oats if you know what jungle oats is and maybe i don't know maybe you're not from this country i don't know but anyway oats 
oats it looks like oats <laughs> Oof, yeah let's go Anyway, once you are done, if you feel like plating it in a fancy way, I have this nice little cup thing. I don't even know what I call this thing, but, you know, I found it in the cupboard. I think it used to belong to my mom or something. Anyway, I use that if I want to just do a little fancy rice, just so that it looks like it's one of those restaurant-type rices. It's like a nice little tower. But yeah, it's not a big tower, it's just a little tower. But anyway, once you've plated your rice, you're then going to plate your stew too. Oh, that sounded weird. Plate you stew too. Whatever, but you get it. You're going to cook. Ah, the sero cook. <laughs> Woo! I am really tired. I am not going to re-record this for you guys. I'm sorry, but I'm really tired. But I love you. Okay. Once you've dished out, guys, you can see most what's happening here on the screen. Yeah, you can see it's about to go down. You know, the food is ready. I dished it up. That's what I wanted to say. I dished it up, and it looks like that. It's el magnifique. Anyway, I hope this works for you and I hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.